Uh, well, let's wait till it begins. All right, thank you. Uh, now, what I was saying basically, uh, very briefly, I uh, presented before I missed recording first two or th few minutes in no, uh, for Sahar's sake also, since she just joined us, that uh, my curiosity about older literature allowed me to read some books and my students like Rina and, uh, and this international uh, French volunteer who came here, who read some books, old books, uh, and basically these old books, we compare them with new information, old books about travel and tourism in Palestine, and we compare them with new books and we see what have, how can we find new information out of curiosity, and this led us to some research, research that's interesting, for example, to see the effect of climate change. You could think the same way about tourism, for example, in uh, this book that I just finished by Gertrude uh, uh, Bell, uh, she speaks about uh, Russian tourists in Palestine in uh, 1906. So 114 years ago, Russian tourists, and she describes in detail where they stayed, what they did, all of this stuff. You can write a master thesis, for example, about Russian pilgrims to Palestine. We're getting a lot of Russians, by the way, who come to Palestine. But in the past, they used to spend all their belongings and come walking all the way from Moscow or Siberia even, uh, take some time, times a year or, or whatever to get here, to uh, to see the Church of the Holy Sepulchre and the Church of Nativity and so forth. That's fascinating. But comparing how they were 100, or 200 years ago when they used to come and comparing to Russian tourists today and how they come, that could be an interesting master thesis. Sometimes reading material gives you ideas for, for research that you didn't think about as I showed you with the, with the comparisons that I made. And then we went and spoke about this slide. And again, this slide is a slide that you know, you can start to read line by line and worry about the details of it or memorizing what's in it. That would be all a waste of time. The first question you should ask yourself always is what's in this text? Why is it there? Why, why, what does this person who put this text, for example, in this case, Bransford, Brown and Cocking summary, what do they want from me? Surely bid him in me. What they want from you is to understand that the reading is basically an art, an art of, uh, of critical thinking, not reading for the text, for the words, for the, you know, just to know each word. You have to read in order to understand, to notice meaningful patterns, to identify discrepancies, to critique to contextualize it with your other knowledge. Sometimes, as I told you, I was just reading this uh, book by, um, by this woman, and I see this text about Russian tourists. I could just keep going and never mention it, but then it occurred to me as a question, are those Russian tourists the same mentality as the Russian tourists that come today? This could provide a beginning of an idea of a research or critical thinking, kind of not necessarily to publish the research, but curiosity. I may now want to go Google about Russian tourists in the 21st century in Palestine and see what, how many came, who they are, what they do. Out of curiosity, and al internet curiosity, not as I have to do it So again, now I want you guys to take over more and I want to speak less. And I want people who are silent, there are some of you who are not saying much. I want you to tell us. So for example, this slide, what would be the first question that you should ask about this slide? 
uh, what are the skills that you need to do a research? Okay, that's that's what I call the uh, obvious question because it is about the research skills and it has them listed. So what are the, you know, if I show you a picture of a mountain, uh, you know, the obvious question is how high is the mountain and where is this mountain located? But we need again to think a bit deeper. What is a question to ask about this slide? That is not obvious from what's in the slide. Okay, we can say that what, what can we improve in order to, to think critically? This is how I can. Way. Okay. My research. Yeah, go ahead. How Sorry. can I uh, increase or uh, let's say. Uh, uh, how can I polish my research skills in a way to uh, combine all four? To improve, do you mean? To enhance, yes. Why do you do it in a way? the... Integration, it's integrated all together. Yes. The integration of the four skills together. We have to need the four together. Okay. So basically, there are four key skills. وهدول مربوطات مع بعض مش هيك هيك الفكرة يعني وصلت هنا. Yes. Insert content. مرة تانية. بس نركز على specific content. بنفكر ليش هدول من ال website هذا ليش عملوا الصورة هاي. They're connected. They want me to understand. Continue my sentence. Well, because I can't, for example, be a good analyst without critical thinking. Okay. So these are skills that are dependent on each other, that are interconnected. Yes. And so they want me as a reader of this slide to understand the interconnectivity of critical thinking, problem solving, analysis, and finally dissemination. Lots of dissemination is included as a key skill. And Maratani Munkin and Amar research with critical thinking, with problem solving, with analysis, with brilliant writing. وإذا ما نشرتوا في مجلة علمية خذ لكم بيكون زبالة مو بزبالة اوكي بيكوز يو ديد نوت ديسيمينيت اورايت اند تو ديسيمينيت ات يو هاف تو برودوس سم لوجيك اوف كورس ريزنينج اند بوت ات توجذر ان ا بريزنتبل واي يعني ديسيمينيشن هو is like presenting the food. You can be a very good cook, but if you present the food uh, in terrible plates, in kassarat, with khat, it's not going to work, right? So, this slide just says, read first, then read, then read more. Again, what's the point here? Other than what's obvious, read. <laughs> Why do you think I would put such a slide in? Why do you think I would put such a slide in? Because you have to read, not just read, not just to look at the words. You have to understand what is inside the words. Okay. We have different kinds of readings. First, you have to skim and scan, then go to, to read more details, then connect all the parts of the reading all together. We have levels of reading. I think you mean by read and read and read the different three levels or more. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's say I give you this book called Physical Geography by Peterson, Sack, and Gapler. And I say, go home and read this book. How many of you, by the way, are interested in physical geography? Is any of you interested in them? I'm not sure even I am interested in physical geography. Right? Not many of you are probably interested in physical geography. 
الجغرافيا الفيزيائية ليش الجبال شكلها هيك والوديان والأمور هاي. But let's say I give you this book and you're not really interested uh, in the subject matter. You're not an expert. You guys are studying tourism. You're not studying geography. And I say, here, take this book and let's come back in a couple of days and talk about it. What do you think, since you are not interested in the in the particular pieces of information about physical geography, maybe there are pieces of information that you will find uh, interesting. For example, that the Himalayas are the highest mountains on Earth, and uh, and that uh, you have uh, you know uh, these people going to Tibet to climb and. Uh, and be there, whatever, and maybe you will uh, also find in this book that uh, the Dead Sea is the lowest point on Earth, etc. Maybe you find just a few pieces of information that are of interest to you. But then you come back two or three days later, and I ask you, okay, uh, Sahar, for example, what, what have you, what, what? Did you waste your time reading this book, or have you learned anything of use to you, or uh, or did you do it just because I asked you to do it, or what? What is it? What 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 can you tell me about this book, even without reading it? I think uh, unless you read without understanding what you're reading. Uh, for example, if you read this textbook. Maybe it will open uh, the door for uh, another box or another article to search about and read it. Yes, so yeah. so one one benefit could be that I'm reading this boring book, maybe that I wasn't very interested in. Maybe it opened up for me an avenue, let's say, to think about tourism in the Himalayas or tourism in the Dead Sea or something like that, physical tourism, physical geography tourism. Maybe I become interested in something totally unexpected out of reading this book that's totally unrelated to even the content of the book. Uh, like in so that's one possible thing. What's another possible? Maybe uh, I will become interested. Sorry. Maybe I will become interested in uh, physical geography. Maybe I didn't understand before what is is talking about, and after I read the book, I start to in, to be interested. Absolutely, this is very very important point. Maybe I start to read something that the title of it is not too exciting, because my background tells me it's not up. It's not my book, it's not something I'm interested in. But if I flip through it, I may find something that's rather interesting to me, and maybe I become interested in it. I was interested in mammals, for example, myself, and I took this course in plants uh, by a guy named Lotfi Bulus, who wrote about medicinal plants. And uh, this was 1975, I think, or 76, I took when I was doing my bachelor's degree, first year or second year or something, botany. And basically, I got so excited about medicinal plants, and I said, if I'm not going to become a biologist studying animals, I want to study medicinal plants. Uh, because he made the, the, the writing that he did and the discussion made it so interesting to me. And to this day, and now I'm working on a paper on medicinal plants, by the way, uh, I never forget these things because opened up a door for something I didn't realize existed or that it's important. And we did a cultural heritage project here for the British Council at the museum because of this interest in uh, medicinal plants and others that I developed many, many decades ago. Okay, so when I say read first, then read and read some more. It's because reading is the most critical skill you can have, and it leads you to the other skills like writing, 
because they also, I mean, third, for example, benefit from reading this book, maybe just to see the layout of the book, عجبني مثلاً design تبع book. أنا إذا بدي أنشر كتاب تاني أنا مثلاً كمعجم ممكن أستفيد من من شكل الكتاب هذا من طريقة تقديمه وشغلات زي هيك ممكن أستفيد حتى ما لاش علاقة بالكونتنت يعني بالشكل تبعه. Uh, but again you know when you read I don't want you to read for the sake of specific information in these books or these articles. I want you to think about patterns. Uh, concepts, critical thinking, ideas that come through these textbooks or through these journal articles. Um, and precisely because of this, one text is not enough. Why is that? Less one text is anamatan bidiatros and political tourism. Tamafi kutub and political tourism, bahud bahad minal kutub bulliktab bilakhus mahu. بجوز تطلع على 500 primary literature ولخصهم وبطريقة ممتازة ومفيدة وأحسن كتاب بالpolitical tourism بقدر لك هي وكريته ليش أقرأ كتاب تاني يعني We need different point of views So this the assumption here that you in your answer which is correct but the assumption is that different texts give different points of views. Is this correct? The assumption is that different people writing different no. texts. Some subjects, yes. It's will like have this. will have different points of views or even different emphasis. But why? If they are reviewing the same primary literature, if I take yes, two of you and I say, go write for me a book about political geography, you're going to search Google uh, Scholar you're going to get some of the same papers. You're going to review some of the same papers. Both of you will write. And I did this experiment with my students, by the way. I asked them when we had time. Your course is very condensed, so it's difficult to do this. But so I took some students and I asked them all to write me a review paper about the same subject, not different subjects, the same subject. And they ended up with uh, different texts. Why is that? Because they are all coming from different backgrounds. And they all, all right, have so what does that mean? Yeah, let's dissect what is the background that could affect your review of articles, that could affect your writing. Your background is going to change in the nature Maybe when we see a subject, a subject about political tourism, a person who wrote a textbook or a book or a research from our country, from the same community. So we take this point of view. And then maybe we see some another researcher who wrote from, from other country, from Europe or from a different country. He came here as a tourist and he wrote the, the point of view about political uh, tourism in his point of view. Uh, this is the... No, I mean, you know, Doctor, a clear, a clear example, you know, and for example, yeah. if, if somebody uh, from Israel wrote a revision about Palestine and, uh, you know, the, the violence in Palestine or the conflict, it would look absolutely different than a Palestinian write about the conflict in Palestine. Oh, mm -hmm. Both of them yeah. have different backgrounds. Yeah, this is another article I wrote with Rina, Rina Said. You can see the title, Orientalist Depictions of Jerusalem and Palestine versus Anthropological and Biological Diversity. This paper is precisely what you just said. It compares what some writers of the past 150 years who come from abroad and visited Palestine and wrote about it, how it was, for example, uh, what's the name of that guy uh, came from the US, uh, has a, a pen name that designers sometimes like to quote because he says Palestine is a desert region, blah, blah, in the 19th century. He, He's a famous American writer. I don't remember his name. 
But anyway, he wrote this, art, this article, basically, this book about his travels around the world. And in it, he writes that basically Palestine has very few people, very few trees, very few vegetation. It's all brown, uh, etc. Of course, he came for two weeks. And it happened he came in the middle of the summer, of course. So he didn't see Palestine in the spring. And it happened he came to the holy areas, which are Bethlehem and Jerusalem. So he didn't go to the Galilee to see the Galilee, which is green year round. Uh, <laughs> so he had this orientalist view. Orientalist. Samir. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Edward Said, it's more Orientalism. And it's taught in schools. Orientalism is the way the West looks at the East, at the Orient, in a way that is derogatory, that's colonialist, that's a, a mentality of lack of respect for the native people. Native people are like the animals or the plants here. They are just objects, not people. Uh, and then it's like the uh, tourism that the some of the people in the 19th century in Palestine also wrote about Palestine, uh, that uh, basically they looked at um, what we call now the, uh, you know, the stones of Palestine, the Church of Nativity as stones, Church of uh, Holy Sepulchre as stones, not as people. Where are the Christians in Palestine in those early travels? You rarely find them and you rarely hear them mentioned. Now, they could be describing the object of their description in very good terminology. For example, they could describe the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, beautiful, whatever. But if some native person comes and visits the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, might describe it very, very differently. As you pointed out, because the background of that person is very different than the background of the second person. And even within the same class, I'm sure if I ask you to write about the same thing, you will not produce exact text or similar text unless you're doing copy pasting. <laughs> um, so we talked about this, I think. Uh, we talked about where you can find information and how to search in uh, you know, to search for a proper name, enclosing quotation, for example, if you want Oslo peace process, put it in quotation or come up better. Church of nativity is better than in quotation because if you put a church of nativity, but like a Shia and nativity around the world, or Shia and churches around the world, so it becomes more specific. I'm going to skip those. There are search engines, as I mentioned earlier, like the uh, scholar.google.com, books.google.com, social science research engines. Uh, there are all sorts of online, you know, Arabic collection online. You can get a ton of Arabic books from this link there. Um, and finally, let's talk a bit about the ethical issues of research to revisit them. And in the beginning of the unit, the unit one, the slides, these slides, uh, because you will need these ethical guidelines for your research. In the syllabus, I have more detailed ethical guidelines. Please read those. Uh, but again, you know, you read them not to memorize them. Give me five ethical issues you have to consider. So, okay, I look at this and I say human subjects, use of animals, moral issues, professional issues. Uh, this is, uh, again, memorization, not critical thinking, not uh, analysis of this slide, let alone of becoming more ethical. And you can memorize you can be the most brilliant memorizer of ethical issues, and you could be the most unethical person in the world. Uh, 
ونصابين وحرمية. <laughs> so the question is really about implementing. How do you implement and what you understand to implement to استفيد منه. So here I open it for your thoughts about ethical issues. How can how can I be sure? أنا كمازن مثلا إذا في منكم أجوا بدهم يعملوا الثيسس معي. How can I be sure that you are acting in ethical ways? شو بدي أضربكم على رأسكم ولا إيش؟ <تصفيق> what's, what's a way to, if you have a child, بعرف مين منكم عنده أولاد. بدكم تعلموا أولادكم ethics. What's the best way? Is it memorization of ethical rules? So both, both are correct. Okay, so both both are correct. So one aspect which you mentioned, which is to use a good example, to lead by example. If the parents are ethical, is a labu mashi kudam uladu, burmi cigar ab sharay. I'm sure his children are not gonna become any better than their father. Is a labu mashi kudam um sharay or shaf shaf wara kamarmiya or sahabha or hamalha la wasal al stella, hatta fiha. They uh, obey. They they the uh, the مثال الحسن بيعطيهم فكرة جيدة وهذا ممتاز. النقطة الثانية اللي حكتوها إنه uh, how to uh, check behavior and use if you want carrot and stick. The carrot and stick approach. العصاو الجزرة إنه أو التفهيم إذا بدنا نقول أنا بحبش لا عصا ولا الجزرة أنا معاك إنه تفهيم شوية بساعد إنه يفهموا آه ليفهموا شو الإيجابيات شو السلبيات لكل شيء. So this is this is understanding. This is critical thinking. They develop critical thinking. شو بصير إذا إحنا مثلاً مثلاً طفل سرق شيء من من السوق. Okay, يعني we go return it. We apologize. But in addition, I have to explain to the child what's the ramifications of this, ramifications to society, ramifications to leadership, ramification to respect, ramification to the future. كل هاي الشغلات لازم نفسر لها، فلا ما أخذ وقت أفسر له هاي الرامifications. ك كأبو يعني أنا عندي ابن هيك علمته. هلا يعني. Latifel, you have to explain the ramifications. But for adults, it's a bit different. But you can do some explanation of ramifications, as you said. For example, I have a student who wrote the thesis for me, and I found that the whole thing was copy pasted. What do you recommend I do? The first, uh, if, she, if she did so, uh, يعني, what was the benefit for her? يعني, يعني, uh, the point is that she didn't benefit, يعني, she didn't get any experience, any knowledge, anything. يعني, she just copy and paste and that's it. Okay, then she didn't work on herself. And the loser is she, not you. Yeah. I like this line of argument. I've used it in the past. I think it's very good because you want to explain pe to people that doing the right thing is in their own best interest, what I call enlightened best interest instead of narrow best. Narrow best interest in nobody has written I saw in the kaka as a rector. I very short term benefit. But to work hard to produce. You have long-term benefits, so I explain to them the difference between short-term immediate benefit, which turns out to be not a benefit, then I'm thesis anyway. 
So, so, but then I think about the long-term benefit is much more important to explain to them the ramifications from this uh, point uh, is better. And also, how would uh, she feel, for example, or he feels if he wrote, if he worked hard on an exam, got a good grade, but the guy next to him just copied his exam and got the same grade then. How would you feel about that? You feel good that somebody uh, didn't do the work and got the benefit? You don't feel good about that. So it's better to uh, put it in these contexts. Um, these are some references which I also uh, recommend, like social responsibility of scientists uh, with some links. Uh, you can uh, use them. A guide for responsible conduct and research. These are all relating to ethical issues and social responsibility, which is also ethics, by the way. Social responsibility is ethics. If I'm doing research to benefit the poor people in Palestine or to improve the tourism so that it benefits the marginalized localities of uh, uh, distant villages or or to benefit women, for example, which are not very well represented in the tourism sector, I'm doing good. Oh, and I'm doing good in the Ba'amal Khair Qa'id. Ba'amal Khair, if the person is in the way, he will say, he will give us the benefit of the Jannah, or something like that, and he will say, but even if one doesn't believe there is God or whatever, uh, doing good is always good. And uh, and it's always beneficial. And what good you do actually comes back to you many folds right here and now. برجع على موضوع التايم مانجمنت كمان مرة في آخر كل شيء لأنه كثير مرات كل الناس ما عناش وقت نكره وعنا شغلات كثيرة وعائلة وشغلة زي هاي وبدي أطبخ وأعتني بالأولاد وبدي أنا أعمل كل الشغل هذا يعني I find that time management is a very very critical skill and to me you can do five or ten times what you are doing today in your life uh, if you figure out how to do it, if you learn the skills of time management. And to do that, بنصحكم كبداية أن تأخذوا أسبوع ممكن تعملوا هذا الأسبوع إذا بدكم سجلوا بالضبط كيف تصرفوا كل وقت مثلا هاي الثلاث ساعات هدولة قضيتهم بالمحاضرة هاي بعد بين الستة والسبعة شو عملتوا بالضبط يعني نص ساعة مثلاً طبخت نص ساعة غسلت شغلة اعملوا هيك اعملوا ثيبهم لكم من يوم وبعدين ارجعوا راجعوا when you review it you will find out a lot of places where you have wasted a lot of time I'm sure where you could have used your time more efficiently وطلابي مرات بالجامعة بيكونوا قاعدين حوالين الشجر ويدردشوا ويجوني على الحصة وبقولوا لي ما عندناش وقت طب ما عندكم وقت كنتوا قاعدين تدردشوا برا وتلاتوا عجن وتحطوا على الفيسبوك شو شربتوا وشو أكلتوا وشو عملتوا <تصفيق> So there is a there is time it's just في أستاذي اللي قال لي time is like a rubber band you stretch it it stretches you let it go it will shrink on you so so you need to stretch it يعني <تصفيق> Um, anyway, you can do this. You can you can go on the Google and uh, video and YouTube and search for uh, time efficiency, increasing time efficiency. Watch a short video about that, which will help you increase your time efficiency. Okay, نرجع على موضوع اختيار ال research لأنه سألت عليه كمان و. ومرة تانية حكينا one method is to read because when you read إذا قريت عن physical geography حتى اللي ما له علاقة بموضوع 
ممكن تخطر لي أفكار مثلاً عن التوريزم في البحر الميت أو التوريزم في الهيمالايز أو اللي هو لكن القراءة هي دائماً تعطينا أفكار كثيرة البحث بس هذا إذا قريت بالطريقة اللي ورجيتكم إياها مش تكروا حتى تكون حتى تعرفوا المعلومة اللي حاطها هذا الشخص بالجملة تكروا حتى تحاولوا تحللوا وتربطوا مع معلومات أخرى كانت عندكم ناقد شغلات زي هيك بس anyway uh, let's talk about what are the most important things in choosing a research to do احنا حكينا الكرايتيريا انا ما بدي هلا الكرايتيريا الكرايتيريا زي ما قلنا انه ايش هم ثلاث كرايتيريا حكيناهم امبارح شو هم تتذكروا كرايتيريا فور دوينج ريسيرش The important, how how important it is, and it's, it should be interesting for me. Important and visible. And interesting. Okay. And interesting, important and feasible. Now there are many many topics that could be interesting, important and feasible. إلكو إلكو إلك مثلاً ممكن حتى عن الجندر لحاله ممكن أطلع بميت topic important interesting for me because I'm interested in gender and it's important because it's important for women in Palestine and it's feasible to do because I can do them in the six months of research how do I choose from these 100 things not based on these three criteria because I've already fulfilled these three criteria بس أنا بدي أختار من الـ research what is, what is the next thing to do to be able to choose I see what's the most important for me to do first okay يعني إذا بعيد هاي بقول prioritization yes and I can make time management so, so prioritization what's most important to me إذا عندي مثلا طلعت بعشر أفكار لأبحاث الماجستير الثيتيز بحط العشر أفكار بحطهم على كرتات مثلا وباجي بحاول أرتبهم مين ال... بدي أختار أول ثلاثة اللي هم بعتبرهم top of the line إلي يعني uh, that's increasing value of interest to me يعني uh, ممكن أعملها بالطريقة هاي يعني أعمل لهم prioritization مش هيك What else I can do? شو ممكن إضافة لهذا حتى أعمل priority؟ نفرض أنا يعني بعد ما عصر الدهني من العشرة نزلتهم لأربعة والأربعة هذول مش عارف أختار بينهم لأنه كلهم بالنسبة لي مهمات كلهم إن يعني مهمات لل... لل... لفلسطين وكلهم ممكن ينعملوا مش قادر أقرر كيف بد... كيف ممكن شو ممكن يساعدني إني أقرر؟ ممكن... Maybe I can ask for help. Okay, who would you ask for help or who would you My approach? So one is to approach professors and ask them for their opinion. Who else? Then well, we have to go to find uh, information and read more about the four topics, maybe to see where to go. Maybe I can uh, decide which topic uh, I'm interested in more than the others. I have to go and read. Yeah. Maybe you can I do also. literature literature review for all four subjects, and based on that literature review, maybe now you can change your mind. And instead of them think uh, you thinking they are all equal. Maybe you start to see that number three is the most interesting one for me based on this literature review. But to go back to consulting, then I said to you, question specific. I professors, I said to you, who else would I ask? Who else? I mean, a person, not a person. My colleagues, maybe. Okay, your colleagues, like fellow students. Why not? وليش ليش هذا بفيد مثلا ليش لا عندهم بروفيسوريه he say something and i click with something like we complete each other 
Yes, because no, I have different, different backgrounds, different experiences. I may have thought of an angle that you didn't think about. Maybe they ask you a question that makes you think, that makes you rethink the order, the priority that you have. And, uh, and so you use, you can ask your family, you can ask your son, you can ask your children, your, your parents, your grandparents. There is nothing wrong with asking people. احنا مشكلتنا مرة تانية احنا كفلسطينيين نحبش نسأل الناس ما نحبش انه من احنا نعرف كل شيء يعني وهذا غلط يعني انا حتى لما اكتب على اي بيبر باجي بستشير حتى طلابي بستشيرهم في بعض الامور باخذ منهم افكار. Okay, anything else about how you would choose uh, or is it clear? I think after all these steps, I have to go back to myself and reflect. This is very important. Yes. It's a very important step to, to go back and reflect, think another time. Maybe I will change the whole topic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now once you decide on a topic, whatever topic you decide, you need to know Okay, maybe you've done little literature review, but uh, maybe you want now to do much more literature review because you've decided on the subject and you need to do much more literature review on this particular subject. You have to decide, first of all, what category, what discipline, what area is the subject about. If it's related to Palestinian women and tourism, this is in the gender, for example, category of databases you can even put uh, now you can put in google for example gender databases gender literature databases and you will find databases that are specific for gender issues uh, and then you can put tourism and gender or whatever uh, if uh, so so finding the discipline that fits under sometimes also helps you uh, do what besides helping you research for a particular area uh, in particular databases. Can it help you in designing the research or searching methodology on the database? Can it help you, for example, in choosing uh, keywords for the search? And it helps you know تشخيص البحث وين بيجي تحت اي طار هل ممكن هذا يساعدكم في ديزايننج سيرشينج ستراتيجي فور بريفيوس ليترشر عليه؟ يس اوف كورس ات هيلبس فور اكزامبل اف يو ونت تو دو ا ريسيرش اباوت تور جايدز ان باليستاين فور اكزامبل اند وي ونت تو نو ذير نوليدج how their knowledge met, for example affects the the tourism in Palestine we should go and make uh, maybe questionnaire by that I know where to go yeah but because we haven't reached the stage of questionnaire and data gathering we're looking at just researching the literature uh, literature review so can it if you're doing about uh, souvenir shops and tourists in Palestine I'm asking if knowing what category, what discipline this falls under. Does it fall under discipline of economic uh, studies or anthropological studies or psychological studies? Is knowing this discipline can help you in searching on scholar.google.com or anything else? That's right, yeah. And why would it help you? For example, if I take I want to understand the motivation of Russian tourists coming to Palestine. Which discipline does this fall under? Anthropology, uh, psychology, uh, whatever, political science, uh, geography. I think psychological. Yes, so it could fall under psychology. It could also fall under anthropology, but certainly not political science or geography. But knowing it falls under psychology, what does this help you with? 
help me word what to search for يعني لما انت بتحصر بكيوردز معينة بالثيسس تبعك بصير أسهل عليك انك تفتش أكتر وتشوف وين الاتجاه اللي انت بدك اياه يعني من التعميم يعني من التعميم ل ل ل ل يعني للتخصيص للسبيشاليزنج كل شيء يعني okay. مثلا فور uh, اكزامبل um, يعني if I want to write about um, a topic uh, for example hope and tourism okay uh, or how alternative tourism organization contribute to hope yes, yes. or how the stories of the guides regarding okay. the wall the occupation so I, I have to contribute to sense of hope Hala. يعني okay, يعني so من from the sense of hope أنا بدي أنطلق هون ل okay. للدراسة تبعت. so it helps you refine your keywords خلاص خلصنا من الموضوع هذا وحكينا فيه what else can it help you with if knowing that it falls under the field of psychology or it falls under a field of sociology or anthropology. I this have to concentrate on, uh, on the uh, psychology. Uh, and يعني, يعني, يعني how to relate it with the, يعني how to relate the two, uh, the two keywords together. Okay. No, but we already talked about keywords. أنا حطيت لكم السلايد هاي حتى تعطيكم هنت حكينا فيها السلايد هاي. What did I say about this slide? Do, do you mean that it will narrow our search? We can go directly to the to the to the website and search for easier and less you, time. Okay. If your if your subject, if your research is related to sociology, do you go search for it on which database? The database of sociology. 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 Okay. It's clear, so one yeah. advantage, one advantage of putting the discipline next to your subject is you know which databases to go look for. And there are databases for psychology. It is not a matter of just changing the keywords. If changing the keywords and putting about psychology in the database of scholar is different than if I change the keywords and put them in a database about psychology. So it helps me know which databases I'm going to search for, okay? Now, this brings me up to an issue, which is also a problem in our educational system. The way that you are perceiving the information that I'm presenting to you is in a linear fashion. In the slide high, we finished it and we finished it. We didn't have it now. Now we're going to the slide high. We finished it on this issue. We finished it and we finished it. We're going to the slide high. We finished it and we finished it. We're going to the slide high. We're going to the slide high. No, you have to change the way you think. Everything is connected to everything else, okay? And if I'm going to write an exam for you, by the way, the exam, again, is not going to be linear knowledge of a particular piece of information that you regurgitate for me. For example, is precisely like the questions I've been asking you, to relate information. So if I was to take this slide, time management, and I would randomly go to any other slide, random, I would they walk up on a slide high, matter. Is there a connection between this slide and the slide of time management? Can you find the connection, even if it's not obvious? I slide, we slide about the time management. Can you connect them?
يعني هاي سلايد فهمتوها والتايم مانجمنت فهمتوها السؤال هو كيف بدي اربط بينهم كيف ممكن انا اكتب لكم سؤال بالامتحان اللي ممكن يربط الشغلتين هذول ويسالكم اشوف اذا فهمتوا الكونكتيفيتي والكونتكست والشغلات هاي اللي بربط السلايدتين اللي هم كانوا بعاد عن بعض سبع سلايدات او ما بعرفش قد ايش العدد Can you connect information that's not, you know, strictly linear? This is piece of information. That's a piece of information. You see what I'm saying? Perhaps it is the, you know, you know, يعني what, يعني I think the, يعني how to organize to deep, uh, to reflect deep structure. Uh, within a, a within a period of time. Okay, I'm not sure I understand what you're saying. Like, okay, you have limited time. You're saying, and you want. Yeah, you have, have a limited your... time, but even though if you have a limited time, you have to organize to reflect the deep structure of a subject through a quick reading and uh, a, not a quick reading to understand what you are reading yeah so so that's uh, that's a question that relates to how can you optimize be very efficient with time in terms of reading text in a critical way is that correct yeah do other people agree? And uh, if you agree to this question, which I can ask in an exam, what would be the answer? And the answer may come from this slide, or may come from that slide, or may come from neither, by the way. May come from a fourth slide or a third slide that has nothing to do with this one or that one. What would be the answer? If I want to say, Okay, you know, uh, Amir, I want you to show me a way that I can uh, spend very little time reading, but at the same time, I want to to understand like that, like these guys, Bransford, Brown, and Cocking say, we should uh, look for meaningful patterns and see discrepancies. What would you say, Amir? To answer that, how would you do it? كمان مرة بس صوت قطع شوي بس كمان مرة السؤال. يعني السؤال هو اللي طرحته إنه أنا مثلاً عندي سؤال في الامتحان بسألكم إياه إنه هاي تكست هاي فقرة ومعكم أنتوا دقيقتين ما بدي تسووا هالدقيقتين استعملوهن حتى تجاوبوا على شو بالفقرة. بدي اياكم تقولوا لي كيف لو عندكم هاي الدقيقتين كيف بتقروا الفقره بدقيقتين فقط بس عندكم دقيقتين بحيث تكون هاي الفقره مفهومه لكم على طريقه برانسفورد براون اند كوكينج اللي هي انه بشوف ديسكريبنسيز وبشوف مينينغفول باترنز وبشوف كونتنت انفورميشن يو نو ديب ستراكشر مش مش سطحي لقراءة الفقرة كيف في الدقيقتين ممكن تقرأ الفقرة هاي شو اللي شو اللي جاب على هذا السؤال آه آه بالضبط آه ممكن إنه نطول كيورد ممكن نشوف ال to find كيف كمل كمل آه كمل يا تام لا سمعت حدا احكى عشان انقطعت اوكي ااا مش اي دونت هاف يعني ميبي ذا فاست ريدنج يو ار اون ذا رايت تراك يعني انت تو سي يعني فور مي يعني اي وود سي ذا كي ووردز ذا امبورتنت ووردز يعني تو كونتاكت تو تو كونكت بين ذيز ووردز تو سي يعني ذا مين ايديا اوف ذا باراجراف يعني so uh, in this way for me يعني, i will understand the paragraph يعني, in, in, يعني in somehow يعني, in, or to read uh, this will take me to read more يعني. every keyword will take me to, the, to read more يعني, for, about this paragraph okay. 
من انا في يعني اول شيء اي ويل سي ذا توبيك يا فروم ذا بيجينينج وين وين اي سي ذا توبيك اوف ذا 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 تكست اوف ذا ريسيرش اوف ذا بيبر ف ف من التوبيك او من ال... من يعني حتى من الابستراكت مرات من ال... هذا طب انا انا بس اعطيتك الباراجراف ما اعطيتكش لا عنوان ولا شيء ولا, ولا كي وورد انا اعطيتك جاست الباراجراف الباراجراف في... في لها عنوان ولا لا. باراجراف بس؟ لا علاش عنوان بس اقرا اوكي أه... اوكي <laughs> I read two, the first two lines and the last two lines. Okay. Or as I showed you, you can read in the middle. You can read down the middle rather than at the edges. Down the middle to look for nouns, for words that are... يعني حتى, حتى هاي, even though these are bulleted points, If you go down the middle of this page, you see patterns, word patterns, mm -hmm. you see the word contextualized, you see the word discrepancies, you see the word environment. But then I don't know about the keywords. I don't know keywords. I don't know the keywords. I don't know the keywords. I don't know the keywords. مربوطة بالجملة إلى علاقة حوالين هاي الكلمة اللي هي بنص الجملة مش بأطراف الجملة ولا بأطراف الباراجراف بالوسط الباراجراف بس زي ما حكيته بس إذا بدي آخذ آخر جملة وأول جملة أنا باخذش أول جملة أول جملة عادة تو جنرال ما بتفيدنيش آخر جملة أهم شيء إذا بدي آخذ كي وردز باخذهم من آخر جملة هاي وفرت وقت أنا هاي ربطت هاي السلايد مع السلايد اللي هي تبع التايم تايم مانجمنت even though they seem like two separate things بس هيك بدي اياكم تبدوا تفكروا انه كيف اربط كيف اعمل كونتكست للاشياء اكثر منها انه اعرف سبيسيفيك بيسز اوف انفورميشن Okay, now first step to do in the literature review. Uh, you have to do a literature review. So how do I do a literature review? Um, literature reviews, I'm going to use keywords in the right database. Is that my 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 uh, research topic is sociology, but sociology. If it's anthropology, but anthropological. Database. If it's not clear what subject it is, go to scholar.google.com or books.google.com, and I look for it. I find where I can find this information. And sometimes, the more just come, I will come and bath. Mungkin saaduni naruh ala shia ochra. Mithan mungkin awal bathin talata batalla ala anwanham mubashara quickly they tell me go to anthropological literature or go to psychological literature and had a model of a psychology matter with the yeah i matter and motivation is about is model of a lack of a tourist motivation one of our option to have a lack of a psychology i'm taking the hot kelima tourist motivation In scholar.google.com, أول عشر مراجع راح يطلعوا نصهم راح يكونوا منشورات في psychological literature, psychological journals. فاقدر بروح بدور where is psychology database شو بعمل search فيهم. Okay, هلا بعمل search بطلع المراجع هاي. And again, I can start to read them and get totally lost in the text and And the words and all of this stuff. Oh, I have more to be doing to love, which I'm sure I saw we could have more. I'm sure I saw you. How do you prioritize? How do you read? Again, we talked about that. I have more to tell you. Come to talk to my man. I'm not sad. You can tell me about the label papers. We said 
What's the first thing you see in the paper? Type topic. Title. Title. So titles will tell you a lot. Titles sometimes tell me not to read the paper, even if it's interesting. ليش؟ لأنه إذا الشخص مش عارف يكتب عنوان للبيبر تبعته كيف بده يكتب لي بيبر مفهومة يعني؟ مع إنه الموضوع تبع تبعه مهم يعني بس إذا ما بعرف يكتب عنوان ليجذبني اللي, اللي يخليني أقرأ آه معناته ليش ضبع وقتي؟ إذا التايتل عجبني وقتها بعمل بأخذ البيبر وبطلع على الأبستراكت مش هيك ورجيتكم هذا الحكي All right, we should take a break soon, but, uh, but since we are almost there, we have that. If I go to scholar.google.com, I will put tourist motivation, Palestine, Methran. Okay, I will put a page of research, Methran. Uh, that is a very interesting paper. An exploratory study is justice, tourism, and controversial areas, the case of Palestine. click. right click and click open a new tab. Okay? You know how to do that, right? Right click and all that stuff. Then you go here and you say, okay, I read the abstract, here's the abstract, I read the abstract, the abstract is very short, interesting, okay? I want to cite this and I want to use it. The next step, by the way, is to click on this button, which says cite, okay? Everybody seeing where I'm clicking? When you click on it, it shows different styles of citation, either MLA, APA, Chicago, Harvard style, Vancouver style. I don't really care which style you like. Uh, everybody likes different styles. Different journals use different styles. Pick a style and stick with it. Is antum atam tum tamil thesis tabakum be Chicago style? Then that's the style you choose. بس وقت عبد كم كل المراجعات كون بالشيكاغو style ما بيصير أخد مرجع. Chicago style, we have a merge to Harvard style. They are different styles. Here I put the year after the authors. Here I put the year in parentheses, whatever. I personally use Harvard style for most of my work that is not for specific journals. I mean, I have to highlight on the Harvard style. I have to copy. And you can go now to Microsoft Word, for example, and put it in a reference there. Okay, and you start to build your references, for example, like you saw here. Uh, come on. Whatever, I and mean, you can use other styles. There's actually 50 different styles. Mishlarka. No, the Mendeley is a software that helps you to do a search, and he will help you to do a reference. Yes, you can use EndNote. You can use many other things. That's into the Mutamil literature review. Tabakum, Mishrah kun tawil. For me, fi haja inno. يكون هذا هلا بعمل هنا بيست اوكي هي طلع لي المرجع هنا اوكي في الليترشر هلا بدي اعمل الليترشر ريفيو اون ذا سبجكت فور اكزامبل نسكر هنا بدي اعمل ليترشر ريفيو ريليتد تو ذا سبجكت فاينلي So regarding to tourist motivation coming to Palestine. So this is my literature review. بلشت أبني فيه. هلا حطيت المرجع هذا. بس ليش ليش أرجع له يعني أنا هلا فاتحه أيه قدامي لساته. 
وعمالي بتطلع على abstract justice tourism is emerging as a social phenomenon worthy of further critical examination and conceptual اكرو اكرو الابستراكت وبعد ما تكروها بدي اياكم تاخذوا منها شيء اللي بدكم تعملوا citation لاسحاق هذا منها اكم من جمله هاي الابستراكت 1 2 3 sentences اول شيء خلينا نسال السؤال is this a good abstract or a poor abstract it's just three sentences what's what's the definition of a good abstract or a poor abstract a general meaning for the uh, article Generally it should give what? me a very clear idea about the research, but I cannot find the um, connection between its uh, sentences. I, I don't understand it. So it should give you an idea about the research. What do you mean an idea about the research? About the results of the research? Uh, yeah. Or about why they did the research? Or about uh, how they did the research? Or about all of the above? About all the components of the research, like the result, the analysis, the, the conclusion. From okay, the so, so if we agree that it has to basically summarize the research in all its aspects, including why they did it and the results and the conclusion. Is this abstract here a good abstract or a bad abstract? I think it's good. I think it's good. It's he. It start, He starts general by talking about. Okay. Okay. You say it's good. خليه خليه على جنب. اللي بلاش تفسر. Who else thinks it's good and who thinks it's bad? I think it's good. Me too. So I think it's good. Two voices were good. Three voices were good. No, Anybody it's else? It's good. It's good. Four. I need five and six. I think in the end he explained what it is about, the research is about too, so I think it's good. Okay. Now I think it's bad, okay? I think it's Me a too. horrible abstract. It's very bad. Why, why do I think it's a horrible abstract? But we just defined an abstract, by the way. If you read this abstract, do you know what the results of the research is? No. He no. He do you know say. the conclusion of the research? No, he doesn't say. Do you know the discussion of the research? What areas are most I, important? I think the conditions on. He, he just puts. Uh, he talked he's about. He's just telling you what he's doing. Yeah, he's, just, he's uh, just telling you what he plans to do. He doesn't tell you what what the summary of the research is. He doesn't summarize the research. Maybe summary the research here, Jamal. There's nothing in this that's a summary of his results. It just says the first sentence is totally useless. It's introduction to the research. That's like summarizing the introduction, which is fine. The second one, justice tourism, is also like introduction. Third one is justification for the research why i'm doing it the fourth one says i am doing it but what's the result so it's a poor abstract okay now i don't want to take this as an example because i want an abstract that's good so let's go to this one and see if it has a good abstract or a bad abstract The title of this is, by the way, what is it? The title here. And then also is a push and pull travel motivation of tourists to Jordan. 
This is an international journal of business management. Read this abstract and tell me again, is it a good abstract or a bad abstract and why? The same. Good or bad? Who says good? For me, it's very clear. I understand what it has. Uh, it will be the, the contents are very clear. Uh, the study adap adaptation is clear and some of the results. Okay, you said it was results. bad. The result, there's when no the results. Yeah, when the motivations, what are the motivations? <laughs> He's talking about the conception I'm of the special results. So it doesn't talk. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to skip this one too. Okay. I think it was bad. Now let's look at this one. Alternative tourism. Can the segregation in Wall and Bethlehem be a tourist attraction? Here's the abstract. Safety, serenity, and instability are considered blah, blah, blah. Again, I mean, I have no abstracts to be at the first three, they all are short. الله إذا هم مش عار... إذا كاتبين الأبستراكت الضعيفة كيف إحنا؟ إذا بنعطيها هاي إذا بنعطيها علامة من واحد لعشرة عشرة بين بيرفكت أبستراكت بتعطوها علامة 6 6 أيوة هذا طب لما لما يطلب نشر المقال الاديترز اللي هم لما يسووا بير ايفالويشن ما بياخذوا هاي الشغلات بعين الاعتبار؟ رسمي مفروض حسب الكواليتي اوف ذا جورنال ميبي ذيس ار نوت جود كواليتي جورنالز يعني انا هون مثلا هاي الابستراكت اقرب من الثانيات لانه انا واضح من اخر جمله بالمناسبه يعني واضح انه في ايجابيه انه ممكن نستعمل السيجريجيشن وول كتورست سايت فهو قرب عشان هيك بجوز انت اعطيتيها سته من عشره انا بعطيها سبعه من عشره يعني لانه قرب انه يحكي لنا النتيجه انه بالفعل ممكن استعمل السيجريجيشن وول از تورست اتراكشن سايت هاي نتيجته يعني بس كان بامكانه يعملها باوضح يعني ويطلع النتيجه اوضح ويذكرها بطريقه اوضح ومعه وساع يعني مش انه انا بتحكي ثلاث اربع جمل يو كان دو اب تو 150 وورد ابستراكت سو بت اني وينز اوكي ليتس اسيوم ذات ذيس واز ا جود ابستراكت لانه تعبت انا وانا ادور على جود ابستراكت ليتس اسيوم اتس ا جود ابستراكت And I want to cite it just from the abstract. I don't want to cite it uh, from reading the text. I don't have time to read this text. But I want to put the merger. I want to put the merger. How can I write this text? And this question is to ask you to think about it. I think it's a little difficult because it's a little difficult. تقدروا تطلع على البيبر كلها اذا بدكم ايها هنا تقدروا تعملوا لها سيرت على هذا بس حطوا الترنتيف توريزم كان ذا سيجريشن وول ان باثلان بي تورست اتراكشن ذا انسر اوبيسلي ذات از هاك 
is giving, yes, it can be a tourist attraction. And I want to cite this. So I can take the paper like this, as I showed you. And if I use Harvard, I say copy. And I go put it here. OK. And now I have two references. But I actually want to cite these. And I'm with the Ektub Anhum, literature review. But the Ektub, according to Matran Isaac, Okay. وبنرجع بعد ربع ساعة. اوكي؟ فهمتوا شو اللي بدي اياكم تسووا؟ تعبوا لي هاي. وبتطلعوا على البيبر نفسها حتى تعرفوا شو اللي تكتبوا من البيبر شو بدي اخذ من البيبر هاي تبعت ايزك اللي هي هاي. اللي ممكن افتحها اوبن نيو تاب هون واشوفها. I can see the whole paper if you want. I showed you how you can see the whole paper, but you can also cite from the abstract. Okay. So we come back. خلينا ناخذ اكثر وقت. خلينا نرجع على الساعة 5 بالضبط. 20 دقيقة مع. ودوا لي الجواب بال بالشات تبع ال ميت هاديو او هير اي نيد تو ستوب ريكوردينج ناو ستوب ريكوردينج ستوب ريكوردينج Thank you.